Hi, my name is Sandy Allen. I will be playing Mike Wheeler. Hi, my name is Livia. I will be playing Lucas. Hi, my name is William Moody, and I will be playing Will. Hi, my name is Cooper Loiza, and I will be playing Dustin. Do you hear that? Listen. Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. A shadow grows on the wall behind you, swallowing you in darkness. It is almost here. What is it? What if it's the Demogorgon? We're in deep trouble if it's the Demogorgon. It's not the Demogorgon. An army of troglodytes charge into the chamber. Their tails drum on the floor. Boom, boom, boom. Troglodytes? Told ya. Wait. Do you hear that? That sound. Boom, boom, boom. That's not coming from the troglodytes. No. That's coming from something else. The Demogorgon! We're in deep trouble. Will, your action! Uh, I, I don't know! Fireball him! I have to roll a 13 or higher! Too risky! Cast a protection spell! Don't be a wimp! Fireball him! Cast a protection spell! The Demogorgon is tired of your silly human bickering! It stomps towards you! Boom! Fireball him, Will! Another step! Boom! Cast protection! It roars in anger! Fireball protection. him! And... Fireball! What is it? Uh, I don't know! Is it a 13? I don't know! Action! Hi, my name is Anna Kessler and I'll be reading for Hopper. Hi, my name is Jasmine Salem and I'll be reading for Joyce. I've been waiting an hour. And I apologize again. An hour! I understand, but a boy his age, he's probably paying hooky. No, not my will. He wouldn't do that. He's not like that. You never know. My mother thought I was on the debate team when really I was screwing Chrissy Carpenter in the back of my dad's boat. Will's not like you. He's not like me. He's he's not like most. He's got a couple of friends, but everyone, everyone else, they, they make fun of him. Laugh at him. Call him names, his clothes. His clothes? What's wrong with his clothes? I, I don't know. Does it matter? Maybe. Lonnie. Lonnie always said he was queer. Is he? He's missing, that's what he is. You hear from Lonnie lately? He was in Indianapolis last I heard. That was about a year ago. But he's got nothing to do with this. What's his number? I told you, he's got nothing to do with this. Kid goes missing 99 times out of 100, the kid's with a parent or a relative. What about the other time? What? You said 99 out of 100. What about the other time? The one. This is Hawkins, Joyce. You know what, in four years, you know what the worst thing I've seen? You know what it was when that owl attacked Eleanor Dilipsky? Thought her hair was a mess. I mean, it kind of does look like a mess, doesn't it? All that frizz. I'll call Ani. He'll talk to me before he talks to a pig. Cop. Find my son, Hop. Find him. Action. Hi, my name is Eloise Cordova, and I'm going to be playing as Mike. Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'm going to be playing Lucas. Hi, I'm Cam Jordan, and I'm going to be playing Dustin. Hi, I'm Declan Burns, and I'm going to be playing Mr. Clark, middle school principal, and Officer Callahan. Hi, I'm Lily Calderon. I can hear you all the way from Australia. Oh, when, when Will sees this, he's going to try and lose his shit. Lucas! Sorry. Hello, this is Mike Wheeler, president of Hawkins Middle AV Club. Hello, this is Dustin Henderson, secretary and treasurer of Hawkins Middle AV Club. Do you make kangaroos for breakfast? Sorry to interrupt, but may I borrow Michael, Lucas, and Dustin? So you were racing. It was me. He takes oh, Miller. Whoa, 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 whoa. One at a time. You. You said he takes what? Millwood. Millwood? Sounds made up. It's from the Lord of the Rings. The Hobbit. It doesn't matter. He asked. What did I just say? One at a time. You. Millwood. It's a real road. It's just the name that's made up. So what's the real name? No, no. It's where Cornwallis and Curly meet. Yeah, I think I know it. 
We can show you. No, I said I know it. We can help look. No. After school, you go straight home. All of you. That means no biking around looking for your friends. No investigating, no nonsense. This isn't some Lord of the Rings book. The Hobbit. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? I'm Amy Messer and I'll be reading for Max. I don't get it. I just want new friends and you guys are the only people I've got. And I just moved here and the people who I thought were my friends just refused to let me into their party. I just want to fit in with everyone. Everyone thinks I'm just weird or crazy or some crap. I, why can't I just be in your party? Am I too weird? Is it that I'm a girl? Did I do something wrong? What is it, Mike? And why won't you tell me? You know what? This was a mistake. I shouldn't be in your stupid party anyway. Hi, I'm Victoria laird Sort, and I'll be doing a reading for Steve Harrington. Hi, I'm Daphne Falcano, and I'll be doing a reading for Nancy Wheeler. Hey, Nance. What's going on? Are you okay? I can't keep doing this. Doing what? Pretending everything is okay. What are you talking about? Barbara! It's like nobody cares. It's like everyone forgot except your parents. And they're selling their house. Nance. They're going to spend the rest of their lives looking for her. I know. It's destroying them. I know. I get it. But there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, we could tell them. We know we can't do that. We don't have to tell them everything. Nance, this isn't some game. If they found out we told anybody, we could get put in jail, okay? Or worse, they could destroy our families. They could do anything they want, okay? Just think about what you're saying. Hey, it's okay. It's hard, I get it, but let's just go to Tina's stupid party and wear stupid costumes that we spend a ridiculous, stupid amount of time working on and just pretend we're stupid teenagers, okay? Just for tonight. I'm Jordan, and I will be reading for Will. When I was in the Upside Down, I was so scared and confused. It was like one minute we were playing D&D, &D, and the next I was fighting off actual monsters. I know it was a really scary time for everyone, but the worst part of this is for me. It's that it followed me. The Mind Flare followed me. It's like that one Halloween, Mike. You saved me. I just always feel like I'm the burden of the friend group. I don't want you to feel like you have to always worry. Like, it's already bad enough that my family has to worry about me. But now my friends? I'm sorry, Mike. I guess I just feel helpless. Hi, I'm Zoe Mott, and I'll be reading for Steve. When this all started, I wondered was it worth it, getting Nancy getting mixed up with me? Miss Goody Two-Shoes with Steve Harrington. What I didn't wonder was, is it worth it getting mixed up with Nancy? Much less a group of kids. When I fell into this mess, what I wondered was how I was going to get out. At some point, that changed. I realized that without this, these kids, these people, I never would have done anything significant with my life. So, in the end, after all the blood, killing, nightmares, you could ask me a thousand times, in a thousand different settings, if I thought it was worth it. And every time, I would have said yes. Now that that's over, the only thing left for me to wonder is, what am I going to do next? Do I carry on with my life the way I always imagined it would? Do I think of something new and see if it'll work? Do I go to college to live a boring, perfect life at the end of a cul-de-sac? Or do I wait for something significant to come along again? My name is Cooper Loiza, and I will be playing Will Talking to Mike. Hey Mike, do you ever just feel, I don't know, I guess, separated, like, 
I don't know. I just, I guess when you're with L, I just feel like I'm useless and just there. It's weird. I know, right? Hi, I'm Victoria Landersort, and I'll be reading for Steve Harrington. I can't believe you. I mean, I suspected it. Sure, but I always thought, no, no, Nancy Wheeler, the sweet girl next door, the one who would study for her chem test even though she knew she was going to pass, wouldn't cheat on me with Jonathan Byers. I mean, freaking Jonathan Byers. I, I loved you. I thought you were the one. I cared about our relationship so much that I came over here to apologize. Effing apologize. But no, no, you couldn't wait. You just had to jump on to good old Jonathan. You know, you were the only girl I ever loved. The only girl I even dared to love. You know what it's like to give your heart out to someone only for them to just destroy it? No, of course not. Because that's what you did to me. You ripped out my heart and you destroyed it. I guess, I guess you no longer love me. No, I guess I no longer matter than you. Well, I hope Jonathan loves you as much as I loved you. My name is Liliana Vesperstendig and I am reading for Argyle. You dude, nothing happened in the van. Like, it's fine, chill. Like, we just decided to go to the van, like, smoke some weed and stuff, but like, it was all chill, okay? Like, there's no need to freak out. I, I, I like, don't even get high like very easily like my holler high tolerance is really high <clears throat> so <sighs> i'm like basically sober right now like i'm not even high like I, I'm, I'm come on like i only had like 20 or 30 puffs maybe i don't know i wasn't counting like maybe you're high for thinking that i'm high like I can still do things, I can drive, I can walk, like I can walk, I can't walk, but like, that's fine, it's okay, okay, like, we're chill, like, John, Jane, whatever your name is, like, we're okay. <laughs> is that Kate Bush? Oh, it's not Kate Bush, that's crazy. Bro, I'm not, I'm fine, I'm fine, just chill, we're vibing, like, it's okay. Okay, action. Hi, I'm Zoe Mott, and I'll be reading for Hopper. Hi, I'm Liliana Best for Stunning, and I will be reading for Eleven. Oh, Jesus! Ghost. Yeah, I see that. Halloween. Sure is, but right now it's breakfast, okay? Come on, let's eat. They wouldn't see me. Who wouldn't see you? The bad men. What are you talking about? Trick or treat? You want to go trick or treating? You know the rules. Yes, but... Yeah, so you know the answer. Yeah, but they they would see me. Yeah, but I don't care. No, but they would see me. I don't care, all right? You go out there, ghost or not, it's a risk, okay? We don't take risks. They're stupid, and... We're not stupid. Exactly. Now take that off, sit down, and eat. Your food's getting cold. All right, how about tonight I buy us a bunch of candy, we can sit around and get fat, and we'll watch a scary movie. How's that for compromise? Compromise? C-O-M, promise. How about that's your word for the day, yeah? It's in between. It's like halfway happy. Like five, five, one, five? Five, fifteen. Yeah, sure. Promise? I promise. Happy. Hi, I'm Cam Jordan, and I will be reading for Lucas. Hi, I'm Arla Caldera, and I'll be reading for Dustin. Hi, I'm Amy Messer, and I'll be reading for Max. Max! Uh, hi! I'm Dustin, and this is... Lucas. Yeah, I know. The stalkers. Uh, no, actually, we weren't stalking you. No, we were just concerned for your safety. Yeah, for your safety. 
<laughs> there are so many bullies here. So many bullies. It's crazy. Yeah. Is that why you're wearing proton packs? Well, uh, these don't work, but I do have this handy dandy little trap here that opens and closes. Look at that. Voila! That's cool, right? No? Okay, but, uh, so last night, we were thinking, you're new here, and you probably don't have any friends to take you trick-or-treating, and you're scared of bullies, so, um, you know, we decided that it would be okay if you came with us. It'd be okay? Uh, yeah, our party's a democracy. The majority voted you could come. I didn't realize it was just an honor going trick-or-treating with you. We know where all the full-size candy bars are. Figured you'd want in. That's presumptuous. Uh, yeah, totally. So you'll come? Hey, we're meeting at Maple Street cul-de-sac at 7. You hear me? That's 7 on the dot. Presumptuous. That's a good thing, right? <sighs> Lucas, wait, is it bad? Lucas, son of a bitch, Lucas!